Welcome to the factory of Revosi Novomisto, the only car manufacturer in Slovenia. It produces passenger vehicles of the Renault brand and is entirely integrated into the industrial system of this French company. The plant covers approximately 600,000 square meters and nearly touches the very heart of Novomisto on its southern edge. The town with a population of about 25,000 is a busy economic, cultural and political center of Dolinska, a hilly region in the southeastern part of Slovenia. The economy in this area is, in many respects, well above the national average and Revos is one of the principal economic pillars in this region. The beginnings of today's factory dates back to the year 1954 when a workshop Agroservice repairing agricultural machinery and a small company Motomontaja signed a cooperation contract with a German company Auto Union to manufacture and repair DKW vehicles. After Agroservice merged with Motomontaja, the new company began to extend the range of its activities thanks to the ambitions of the employees working there at the time. As early as 1958, they designed the first national van, which was later authorized in several West European countries. Soon it was followed by a holiday caravan belonging to the brand of Adria, which is still acknowledged today. In 1959, the company was renamed the Industry of Motor Vehicles, IMV, and as such became an established name in its region. For a short period of time, the company continued to manufacture DKW vehicles for the German company Auto Union. Then, in the period 1967 to 1972, it's cooperated with the British Motor Company, for which it assembled Austin cars. Finally, 1972 saw the beginning of the partnership with Renault, which has grown stronger ever since. Founded in 1898, Renault is nowadays an established international company, with 140,000 employees and a production of more than 2 million vehicles per year, it is placed among the 30 biggest companies in the world. Renault is noted for its daring innovation, quick adaptability to the market and its bold design of cars. By building Techno Center of the outskirts of Paris, Renault created a modern production project center in which new production processes and products are designed by more than 7,500 experts. Renault is present on all the continents, its products are sold in more than 100 countries and more than 70% of its joint turnover is created outside France. The company continually endeavors to consolidate its position in car industry. Its partnership with Nissan, formed in 1999, has placed Renault among the top six car manufacturers in the world. The rapid development of the Renault-Nissan group can be seen in many joint projects, which have already increased Renault-Nissan's efficiency and competitive advantage on the market all the while respecting the cultural differences and preserving the identities of the two brands. By purchasing the South Korean car manufacturer Samsung Motors, Renault has secured its position on one of the largest Asian markets. Furthermore, by increasing its capital share in the Romanian company Dacia, along with purchasing the factory and adjusting its supply to the consumer demand, it has firmly positioned itself on the recently emerging markets. Also, by taking over 20% of the capital share in the company AB Volvo, Renault has become a principal shareholder and the second biggest branch of the production of industrial vehicles in the world, thus creating the optimal conditions for further development of its own branch of industrial vehicles production. Renault has succeeded in firmly establishing its new identity. This is also reflected in the slogan Renault, we create cars, which suggests that Renault is much more than a mere car manufacturer. The evidence of its innovative power is the introduction of new models and particularly its return to Formula One in the year 2002. While in the past Renault as an engine supplier already achieved the most of what could be achieved, 
It hopes that with its new racing team, it will increase the international awareness of its brand. Renault's strategy is to operate profitably by involving all employees and partners in the decision-making process, by providing good quality products and services and by being highly competitive. That, in turn, makes it possible to invest in further development while meeting the expectations of the shareholders. Incidentally, workers of Revos also form part of Renault's shareholders. The very beginnings of Renault in Slovenia date back to 1969, when a cooperation contract was signed with the company Litostroj in Ljubljana. Only three years later, the contract was transferred to IMV in Novo Mesto. At the beginning of 1973, IMV began with the production of the popular Renault 4, or Katerca. Over the following year, IMV also manufactured R12, R16 and R18, along with Renault 4, although to a much smaller extent. In June 1988, Renault and IMV signed a contract about co-investment in the production of Renault 5, which resulted in the foundation of the company Revos. The following year, the very first Renault 5 came off the assembly line in Novo Misto, in 1990, Revos became a joint stock company, with Renault becoming the majority shareholder with a 54% share in 1991. It was during the production of Renault 5 that the plant in Novo Misto underwent radical changes in its working practice and set the objective of total quality. The plan rose up to the challenge of fulfilling the demands of the modern production in line with the objective formulated by the French partner for its European factories. In April 1993, Renault Clio began rolling off the production line, followed by the Clio of the second generation in March 1998. For the Novomisto plan, this model offered the first opportunity in 30 years of its cooperation with Renault to introduce a completely new product and start its production simultaneously with two other Renault factories in France and Spain. Essentially, Renault promotes the kind of production system that ensures the best car manufacturing system for each member of the group. The system does not aim to prescribe how a vehicle should be made or which processes should be implemented in a particular factory. Rather, it sets general objectives, rules and standards that are valid in all of its organizational parts in Europe as well as in other parts of the world. The production of cars in Revos is carried out in two shifts with a daily production of 560 vehicles while the maximum capacity is much greater. The production process begins in the Department of Iron Sheets Reshaping Press Shop. An iron plate comes to the department in reels. On the line, it is cut into iron sheets of various sizes. By performing different operations such as drawing, trimming or piecing, the iron sheets are shaped into pressings using different tools for each component. During each operation, the components are moved from one position to another by robots, manually or automatically, by mechanical arms and by a transportation conveyor. In 2002, the department was modernized by new equipment for injection of plastics and glass and for the serial production of plastic car wings. The panels are then taken to the Department of Structure and Welding of Bodies Body Shop where the geometry and the initial shape of the vehicle are determined. In a sequence of more automated operations concerning structure and welding, the pressings are first assembled into sub-assemblies, like engine compartment, front and rear floor, body sides, and then welded together into the body of the car, on which there are fitted car wings and opening elements, such as doors and bonnet of the engine. The inserted components are incorporated into the assembly equipment pneumatically and are welded together by using spot welding or match welding, manually or by robots. During the assembly of the equipment body, sub-assemblies and assemblies are shifted manually with the assistance of manipulators as well as floor transporters and hanging transporters. Finally, space blocks and hangers are placed on the body, which then travels by the hanging transport to the pre-treatment. 
Here begins the department of the paint booth. The procedure in the paint booth is divided into three phases – preparation of iron sheets, application of mastic and varnishing. To ensure basic anti-corrosion protection, an eight-phase pretreatment is used in Revos, consisting of the following phases – pre-degreasing, degreasing 1 and 2, cold rinsing with industrial water, activation, phosphorization and rinsing by dipping into demineralized water. In this way, the iron plate is first cleaned in degreasing baths. Then follows the application of crystallized nuclei on the iron plate, which enables homogeneous formation of phosphatic layer in the bath for phosphatization. The next procedure in the preparation of the iron plate is cataphoresica varnishing. The body is dipped into a bath with a volume of 120 cubic meters, with cataphoresica varnish containing pigment polish, binders and solvents, is applied with the assistance of an electric current and the body is then shifted to a drying oven and dried at 180 degrees Celsius. Then follows the application of mastic carried out in six steps. Masking of the substructure to prevent access to mastic, application of mastic to the substructure by pressing and injecting, anti-grating protection of the substructure, addition to tape when all masking elements are removed from the substructure of the body, placing of the sunproof panels and application of mastic to particular joints inside as well as outside the body. The body is then taken over by the workshop for surface treatment. In order to obtain the appropriate colour, luster and durability of the colour, more coats of varnish need to be applied. A coat of primer in four different shades is applied automatically by electrostatic rotary sprays and dried in the oven at 150 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes at most. The clear coat in the interior of the body is applied manually, while the varnish in the exterior is applied automatically in two layers. This is followed by the application of black varnish to the door sill, which is also automatic. The body is then dried at 140 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes at most. The final stages include the control and repair, such as polishing, and eventually the protection of the box section of the vehicle, waxing. At the exit of the varnished body from the assembly store, that begins the department of assembly shop, where all the interior equipment, axles and gears are built in. While some elements of the brake system are produced in the workshop for mechanic, Front and rear axles are wholly assembled here in the department of assembly shop. When the body is placed on the dash panel conveyor, the door and the boot is installed first, and then the side doors are taken off in order to make furnishing easier. The doors are shifted by hangers to the sideline for the door furnishing, where all the fitting are adjusted to the doors. Then follows the numbering of the vehicles, assembly of the ceiling, installations, anti-resonance isolation, etc. The dashboard is also assembled on the sideline and then fitted into the car as a whole. Then follows the installation of carpets, cabin lights, handles, parasols and so on. The application of mass on the windscreen and on the rear window is carried out by robots. Then the body is placed on hangers and carried along the tailgate. The gear stick and the engine are prepared separately on the sideline and then built in as a whole. Then follows the installation of exhaust pipes, axles, lights, safety belts, bumpers, seats, windows, side doors, wheels, the steering wheel and grills. The vehicle is then placed on the floor conveyor for the installation of the radio, filling of brake fluids and assembly of the cooling system. The last operation includes the activation of the engine, fixing of the wheels in parallel, installation of the headlamps, testing of the rollers and protection of the substructure. 
The vehicle is then taken to the testing lane where it is tested on the roadway and to the paint booth where the waterproof test is carried out. The finished vehicle is then delivered to CAT, specialized company for the distribution of vehicles, located within the plant which dispatches them to the sales network by trucks or train. Renault's factory in Novomisto provides employment for approximately 2,000 workers. Its work in practice favors network-based activities and appropriate responsiveness. The plant's organization structure is broken down into basic work units, groups of 20 workers at most, who are thoroughly familiar with all work operations in their unit. These are grouped into individual production workshops in four departments. The production departments work in close collaboration with the tertiary departments, vehicle engineering, information system services, logistics, production quality, training center, maintenance, human resources, etc. The company is directed by a four-member management board with a president on top. The supervisory board is composed of four shareholder representatives and two staff representatives. The plan's well-established policy is that workers should be guaranteed a high standard of workplace conditions. Consequently, safety at work, regular medical checkups, food safety control, wide-ranging training programs, expression of open-mindedness and innovative spirit, and well-run system of international communication play an important part in everyday practice within the factory. Being aware that the success of the factory depends to a great extent on its ability to establish good relations with its surroundings, the factory in Novomisto endeavors to maintain close contact with the town and its people, listen to them and take their feedback into account. The regular renewal of the Environmental Protection Certificate ISO 14001, obtained in 1999, is just one example of the factory's efforts to work and live in harmony with its surroundings. At the end of 2001, Renault increased its share within the company to 67%, which for Revance is the confirmation of Renault's trust in it. Moreover, several new projects are on the horizon. In the near future, the factory is expected to begin the production of a new model and to increase its production capacity. Le film que vous venez de voir vous a présenté un raccourci historique de l'usine de Novo Mesto de l'origine à nos jours. C'est aujourd'hui une usine moderne complètement intégrée au système industriel de Renault. Les cinq dernières années ont vu d'ailleurs des progrès importants qui ont été réalisés grâce aux efforts et à l'enthousiasme de tout le personnel et grâce aussi à la confiance de Renault dans cette entreprise. L'usine de Novo Mesto est aujourd'hui dans le peloton de tête des sites industriels de Renault et grâce à cela, elle peut envisager l'avenir avec confiance et optimisme. Mais je pense que plus qu'un long discours, une visite sur le terrain vous convaincra que cette usine est tournée vers le futur est prête à relever les défis qui se présenteront à elle. Merci de votre visite et je suis convaincu que vous repartirez d'ici avec la certitude qu'une Clio Isdelano v Slovénie est une garantie de qualité. Valalepa in Nasvidanie.